What they're saying is, get out Mubarak, get out Mubarak, you're a traitor. There's organization here, this young man up here leading the chant uh, to get President Mubarak out of the country. But if you look further ahead up the road here, I'm seeing something that I haven't seen on the previous days here. Sorry? Yesterday they killed people with that. They kill people. They kill people in Cairo. Yeah, we spoke yesterday, didn't we? You're the professor of the politics. Tell me again, please. Yesterday in Cairo, they kill people with assassins, with rifles. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And this is. And this is what we're seeing that we haven't seen before as well. Look, foreign governments stop hypocrisy, stand for Egyptians and freedom. And people say they're getting frustrated. They want President Obama, they want other leaders to come out in support of them. They feel that the United States, European leaders, are not coming out strongly enough in favor of the people. And that's what the call is. The call is to come out for the people. And the reason they say that is because they think they're winning. In all of this, people here It is revolution, yeah. All but who supports Hosni Mubarak? The United States of America, the and British Israel. government, and German country, uh, government, and French government. Because United States, they stand beside Hosni Mubarak 100%. Because they know if Hosni Mubarak fell, they are. The whole people in, in, in Egypt, they're going to be free. They're going to be free. If the people free in, in, in Egypt, they're going to go free by uh, Mahdis. They're going to go free Palestinian. They're going to destroy Israel. The, 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 the country who controls the United States is Israel. So, again, the voice is very, very clear for President Mubarak to get out. Again, the, one of the voices emerging today in a very clear theme is people are very frustrated and angry with the United States and with European governments. We're not supporting the people here more. We want America to support the Egyptian people, not the Egyptian regime. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There are almost too many voices uh, to, to hear and to talk to and, and, and understand everything that's being said. But the one thing that's very, very clear from everyone here, the frustration, the frustration of the people seems to be growing and getting stronger and their demands are getting louder. The problem is they appear at this stage still not to be being heard by the president. Nick Robertson, CNN, Alexandria, yeah. Egypt.